USA on Saturday, a, a new challenge for the, the second game of the 2018 Summer Tour. But when you look at their past results, uh, before we look at the team, look at USA's past results over, the, over even this year. They're a team on the up. They've had a lot of wins on the bounce. This is going to be quite a tough contest, isn't it? It is. They've won the last six games. Uh, they've scored a lot of points. They've played two teams that have already qualified for the World Cup in Uruguay and Russia and put 60 points on both of them. They're definitely improving um, as a team. You can see with the way they attack, the way they defend, um, that they're impressive. And then you look at their individuals, who are the big threats, uh, running threats throughout their back line. Very, very good standoff in AJ McGinty, um, who we know from Connaught and now, now at Sale. And some excellent forwards like Samu Manoa uh, in the second row. So th this will be a real test for us on Saturday. You've made a number of changes to the squad that faced Canada last weekend. Um, just talk us through those changes you've made, Gregor. Yeah, there is a number. Um, we, we knew that uh, coming into these two games, Canada and USA, we wanted to use as much as squad as possible. We deliberately picked more Edinburgh players in the first game because their season finished earlier. Uh, now most of the Glasgow players um, are, have been involved. It's great to have people like Stuart Hogg um, and Peter Horn back, uh, leaders for us in that team, uh, Tim Swinson as well. Uh, and there's a few players, I think there's three players that are backing up uh, the game from Canada and a few obviously on the bench too. We were pleased with a number of aspects of the Canadian game, especially the second half, our fitness, the way that the bench made an impact um, and the way they found uh, uh, ways to score tries. Um, but we know there was a number of aspects we'll have to improve. And we, we definitely have to improve this week because the, the challenge we face is is a really strong one in the USA team. Stuart Hogg comes, he said, comes back into the squad um, for this match with USA and he'll also captain the team this weekend. We all know Hogg is one of the most passionate guys that you, you'll meet, but what other qualities will he bring as captain? I think he'll, he'll love doing it. Um, I'd mentioned to him a few weeks ago that this could happen uh, and he was very excited by the prospect uh, and he's really taken to the leadership role. You can hear him speaking in huddles. Uh, he brings other people in and he'll be relying on Peter around the backs, Tim Swinson um, in the forwards uh, to help lead. Uh, he loves playing for Scotland. Um, he's enjoyed being on tour and when you see him with ball in hand, he, he makes things happen. So uh, we're hoping he gets lots of ball at the weekend. George Horn and Peter Horn, Matt Ferguson and Xander Ferguson are all going to be featuring this game. What does it mean for these guys when you have somebody that they know so well to play with in international rugby? Well, it's ultimate cohesion, isn't it, to have your, your brother alongside you. And if, if Johnny and Richie had been on tour as well, we, we could have had three sets of brothers. Uh, it's great, great for them to be playing alongside their brother. Um, it's obviously very important day for, for Matt Fagerson and, and George Horn winning the first caps and the way they played for Glasgow this year they've, they've earned that opportunity uh, they, they didn't play they weren't involved last week so they're itching to go um, and it'll be great to see them out in the field Lewis, Lewis Carmichael is a player that's going to um, start this weekend obviously scored a, a great try for kind of, again, uh, last weekend uh, is he being rewarded for that form not just last week but throughout the season as well? Yes, look, he, he took his opportunity last week, um, two outstanding runs uh, in the time he was on the field. He showed aggression around the contact area as well, and that's unusual for players winning the first cap. Usually they, they want to feel their way into the game, um, and he, he took the game to the opposition, so that's great to see. We're always looking at Tim Swinson as, a, as playing at blindside flanker on one occasion, on two, at least one occasion. Uh, so this was an opportunity with Lewis playing so well, uh, Grant having had 80 minutes, um, him being on the bench, we know we've got that experience and leadership to, to come onto the park, but Lewis deserves a chance. There's seven players in the, in the starting 15 will be starting for Scotland for the first time, and that's exciting. These players are training really well, uh, they're out there to grab their opportunity, and they know they'll have to play, win if, play well if we're to win at the weekend.